Hello everyone. Uh, this is a live stream, Banna 3000. Uh, this is a week one lecture one. Uh, and uh, I'm a little bit late. I'm usually starting right on time. Uh, and I'm usually uh, uh, right on time, but I had a little bit of trouble getting this thing uh, started this semester. And so uh, I will be here um, at 2 p.m. every Monday and Wednesday at 2 p.m. Uh, with this live stream. Today I'll be doing the syllabus. I'll be talking about um, how this course is organized, how it's managed, uh, what to expect, where to find things. Uh, and so uh, today, uh, this is what I will be covering uh, in the syllabus. I have a chat room. Uh, you can ask questions. This is part of our communication. And I'll go over this in pretty much detail today over this, these next few minutes. So let's bring up, okay, the first place. Uh, 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 there's a lot of challenges uh, this summer. And uh, I, I, I feel like what I'm doing here, I, I'll give you as much support as I can. And I really believe that if you can see my design here, we get into the design, get the workflow, get the routine. I think we have uh, the possibility of having uh, a really good learning experience during this course uh, with how, I, how I've done this. Uh, this is really a combination of, of a hybrid course and an online course, but I'm doing it in such a way uh, that uh, uh, it can accommodate both of those at the same time. And I'll show you my design today through the syllabus. So let's bring up, let's bring up uh, Canvas. And on Canvas here, uh, notice the way I've designed Canvas is I have a, um, uh, over here in the home um, module, only one page. I open this up and I have, uh, this will be uh, the central location, like a hub and spoke kind of thing. All the links are here. Uh, the syllabus and downloads are here. Uh, the links are here to the website, to my YouTube channel, to the Zoom. So everything's on this page. Week one, week two and three, four and five, six and seven, as we go through, everything is gonna be here. So every this is like the central hub that links to everything in this course, okay? Uh, so what I'm going to be doing today is first talking about Canvas. And then I'll talk about the syllabus, because the syllabus will explain how all this goes together. OK, before I go to the syllabus, let's look at all these links. OK, first of all, as I go through how I've designed, I have a welcome video. Hopefully everyone has seen this. Uh, but here I'm going in more detail. Uh, first of all, my website. If you click on this website, uh, and under Operations Management, there's that's this course. I have, this is where I have all my videos. Uh, here's where I have the syllabus. You can look at the textbook, download the textbooks here. You can buy it through Amazon if you click the textbook here. Uh, this is the textbook we're using. If you wanna buy through Amazon, there it is. You can buy through the through the bookstore. Uh, download the syllabus, we'll look at the syllabus here in a minute. But down here are the videos. Uh, here's the video one we'll be, be looking at next week. Uh, break even else, I'll have Excel files in here. I have videos in here. I have it under topics, uh, under topic, uh, the different topics, linear regression, aggregate planning, inventory, on and on and on. Down here is the examples of projects uh, that I will talk about further in this course. So my website has all the resources for the material, for delivering the material for learning the material, for working the problems even. Uh, but this is a presentation of the material in videos, in Word files, in Excel files. This is the presentation, okay? So let's come back. Next is gonna be my YouTube channel. If you go to my YouTube channel, Dr. Harper's Classroom, here's where you have the live stream. See, this is a live stream right here. This is where we are right now. So this live stream will be every Monday and Wednesday at 2. I'll always be here. It'll be just like a lecture. Uh, I have a chat room for people to ask questions. Uh, and just like, a, just like a lecture. Now, if you can't make uh, the 2 p.m., uh, you can't do that. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Each of these live streams will be rendered as a video. And then as a video, each one of these will be posted down here uh, underneath the live stream as a link to the YouTube channel. And so if you're here, you can see it live. If not, 
even if whether you're here or you're not, then there'll be a link to that video uh, every uh, every week. And every, every week you'll have a Wednesday link, a, a Monday link, a Wednesday link at two, but it'll be two links. Now, the reason I have two is that uh, we'll have two times that we'll be together on live stream. Okay, and we'll talk about this more here in just a second when I get to the syllabus. And then on Saturday, uh, that's, I mean on Friday night, Friday night at 7 p.m., you can see here, I'll have a Zoom session. And this Zoom session is for my office hours. And I'll have a link. I don't have the link there yet, but I will have a link um, for uh, uh, when I have it this, this, this Friday. So Friday night at 7 is like, I don't record that. Each one of these live streams will be recorded, posted here as a link, uh, just like I did here. See, this link is to a video. Then I have a link for Monday, link for Wednesday for the video. And then on Friday night at 7 p.m., if you have questions, this is more conversation. Here I'm just talking about it and, and, and talking about uh, the, the course. Okay, that's all I'm doing on the Zoom. It's not recorded, it's just conversation. Okay. Uh, and then here's the Zoom link. Now, down here, I will have uh, homework assignments. Beginning next week, I have homework one. And so here's where you download the homework assignment. And I talk about this in the syllabus in detail. Uh, but let's, since we're here, let's just do it. Beginning next week, I'll have definitions and quality control. You download the homework assignment. Let me download it. Okay. Uh, let me open it up. Okay, uh, enable editing. Let's let's full screen this. Uh, let's enlarge this. And so notice what I have here. You download the questions, and you have all the questions right here, right now. Uh, the questions. Uh, this is uh, uh, how many statements are true, and then you and the answer to these is in the videos. The answer to these is live stream lectures. Uh, so I have a video to present it. I have a lecture to explain it, and then the homework here is to apply it. Okay, but notice here's where the answers are. Is that true or false? Is that true or false? The answers in the videos. I'm not going to work through, I'm not going to give you the answers, but I'll tell you where to find the answers. Okay, and that's why I have a Monday and Wednesday. Usually on Monday, I have a presentation of half the material. On Wednesday, I talk about the homework. On Monday, I talk about the presentation of the material. On Wednesday, I talk about the homework. Okay. And so next Monday, I'll be talking about an introduction. On Wednesday, I'll be talking about these homework assignments, homework one. And down here, I get into the mechanics. Here I get into the mechanics, and then I usually get into the applications then, okay, uh, on, on the material. But then once you have answered all the questions, you'll have, they're all multiple choice. So the answer for question one is either A, B, C, D, or E. Question two is either A, B, C, D, or E. So each one of these 10 questions, you'll have A, B, C, D, E, whatever they are. So you have all the answers. Only when you have the answers, only when you have all the answers, only then do you, uh, wait a minute here. Let me get, let me get back to, uh, let me get back to this. Here we go. Only then do you go to the homework and submit the answers. Now, when you click this, I mean, but let me open one. Let me come back here and open one. Let me open uh, one that I don't have answers to yet. Uh, let's, an unnamed quiz. Let's see if I have this right. Edit, open this up. I think I do. I don't. Okay, then let's get out of this. Come back to the quizzes. Let me open one of these up down here. I should have had one open. Let me op open up. Uh, one here. And let me edit this, the questions. So notice, let's open this up, show the answers. So the answer, the first one is C. The idea here is there is no answers here. All I have is A, B, C, D, E. In other words, then you answer A, B, C, D, or E. You click one, two, three, four, five, ten, then submit it. So that's what I mean. You only have, you only have one uh, 60 minutes to submit your answers to that to that um, uh, question, okay, but 
there's no answers there. You get the answers before you go there, okay? And so you download this, you download the homework, you get your, all your answers to the homework here, and once you have all the answers, that's when you go into this click on the homework then, and then you submit the answers, and then you save them. Then you're done, okay? But until then, uh, don't open this until you have all your answers because you can only open it one time submit the answers one time uh, and you have 60 minutes to get the 10 that's more than enough people do it in 20 seconds click 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 you're done uh, get all the answers before you go and then and those are due on Sunday 11 59 p.m. no late assignments are, are accepted and then on Monday morning I'll post the answers here and then at the two o'clock stream I'll go over the answers. So that's 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 the flow. That's the work the workflow. Then I do the next thing on the next topic and then the next topic and the next topic. So there you have the process as we go through here. Okay. And then down here I have um, these live streams uh, down here. These live streams are for a um, the exam study guide and the project, which we'll talk about here in just a second. Okay, and then you take the exam down here and you take and you submit the individual project. Okay, now let's go to the syllabus. Uh, let's go back to the syllabus. Here we go. Full screen this. Okay, now on the syllabus, <clears throat> here is where I describe all the policies, procedures, the schedule, I describe how this works. Okay, now down here uh, in this first page is the general design of both courses. Okay, the online course will be taught with the same design as the hybrid remote course. The only difference is, is the hybrid remote, remote, I have the online streams lecturing during the hybrid times. So instead of being in course, I'm in class, I'm remote. But then those are essentially the same as an online course. Because I will record those, I'll post them as a video, and you can see the videos. If you're taking it as an online course, you don't have to be there at two. You can look at them anytime you want. If it's a remote course or pure remote, then you'll be right there at two. And then you have the advantage of actually asking questions on the chat room. Okay. Um, and so, uh, for instruction, the videos, live streams, and Zoom sessions will be used. Each live stream will be recorded, rendered as a video, and posted on my YouTube channel. They can be accessed anytime, that's the online part of it, through a link provided in Canvas. So the link is right there. You don't have to be searching around my, what, my YouTube channel. Therefore, attendance at live streams is not required at all. Uh, you can look at those videos anytime you want. The only thing that's required is you have to submit the homework when due. You have to take the exam uh, and the project when due. That's the only thing that's really strict. Okay. Videos. The videos are presenting the material for each week are available through my, through my uh, website, and the link is in Canvas. I've already showed you that. Okay, <clears throat> Monday. The Monday live stream is at 2. The Monday live stream lecture with a chat room for questions will be accessible on my YouTube channel with a link in Canvas. And I showed you where that link was. Uh, just to be just to be safe, the link here, there's a live stream link. There's a live stream link. You click that, you go to the live stream. We've, we've already done that. Okay, bring this back. Uh, the Monday live stream lecture will be rendered as a video on my YouTube channel with a link in Canvas that can be viewed any time. The Monday live stream lecture will cover material for that week that corresponds to the videos and a chapter in the Red Book with supplemental readings from the textbook. Now, the whole key here in that sentence is we'll cover the material. It's like a lecture. I'm presenting the material. I'm explaining the material. The videos is a one-way presentation. The live stream is a two-way type of a presentation where I'm presenting it like a classroom and you have a chat room to ask questions like a classroom. 
And if I can answer the question, so then I will. Okay, so that's how that's how I have the hybrid remote and the online together. I think it's going to work perfectly fine. I did it a little bit this summer. It worked really well. I'm hoping it will work really well, even better this summer because I have the the uh, the uh, Monday is to cover the material. Now the Wednesday live stream at 2 p.m. The Wednesday live stream lecture with a chat room for questions will be accessible on my YouTube channel with link in Canvas. The same. The Wednesday live stream lecture will be rendered as a video on my YouTube channel with a link in Canvas that can be viewed anytime. Again, the Wednesday can be viewed anytime. Or Wednesday at 2, where you can ask me questions on the chat room, or view at any time. Okay? The Wednesday live stream lecture will cover the homework questions for the material that week, how to work the problems but not the answers that corres co correspond to the Monday live stream lectures, the videos, chapter in the Red Book, with sup supplemental readings from the textbook. The key here is homework questions. So here's how I'm doing it. Monday is like a lecture presenting the material. Wednesday, I could call it a flipped classroom, but Wednesday, I'll go into the homework and say, what we learned on what I presented on Monday, here is the homework that 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 uh, uh, corresponds to that lecture. I won't work the problems for you. I won't give you the answers, but I'll say here's how you work the problems. Sometimes I'll set it up. Sometimes I'll show you how to how to work the problem. I'll stop just before the answer. I'll let you complete it to get the answer, so you can see how to work it. I'll be using Excel. Excel is, is the only, only thing I'm using is Excel with add-ins in Excel. I'll be using solver add-ins. In some cases, I can use the data analysis add-in, but it's Excel, okay? So I'll show you how to work the problem or where to find the answers to the problem on Wednesday. I'll do the same thing the next week, same thing next week. So Monday is the present is the explanation of the material like a lecture. Wednesday is the application within the homework on how to apply it and how to work the problems. And then on Friday, okay, that's that. Then on Friday at 7 p.m. is my Zoom session for office hours. Now I had it in the evening because it's it's an online course and a remote course, and so I did it in the evening, 7 p.m. So if people work through the week uh, before the weekend, they can do a Zoom session. It's like office hours. It's not going to be recorded. It's like office hours conversation. We can ask questions and talk and talk between each other. It'll be a Zoom session. Uh, ask me questions. I'll talk. You talk. I, me talk. You talk. We all talk. Okay. It, it's a conversation. Okay. And sometimes that is much easier to understand what's happening when you talk about it. Go back and forth and ask questions. Okay. So I have an explanation on Monday, application on Wednesday, conversation on Friday. Okay. Uh, communication. Uh, the live streams include a chat room for questions. Apart from live stream chat rooms, questions about the material, which include videos, the live streams and homework, red book, textbook, should be posted as a discussion in Canvas. So if you ask, if you want to ask a question about the material other than the chat room or the Zoom, then post it as a discussion in Canvas. Students are expected to communicate through questions and answers about the material and courses through discussions in Canvas and not through Canvas messaging or email. Uh, the reason it's not through Canvas messaging or email, I did that. It doesn't work very well. It's not very efficient. Uh, it, it just doesn't work well for the material. I think what will work much better, people have found, I've been told, and I worked did a little bit this summer, much better, and that is any questions about, I don't understand this, how do I do this, post it a discussion board in Canvas. 90, 80, 90, 95% of the time, there'll be someone, another student who knows how to work that, who understands how to do it, that particular question, and they will answer it for you. So it's not required. But I will not answer questions about the material through Canvas messaging 
or through email. If you do, I'll say, okay, this is material. Let me post it on, on the message board. I mean, post it on the discussion board in Canvas and let people answer it. Let it be. Now, usually people have an answer for it. Now, the reason that is much more efficient is because I know this material really well. I've taught it for decades. You're learning it. Sometimes students ask a question very well, and sometimes they're trying to learn it, so they can't ask a question as well as they could if they knew the material, but that's why they're asking a question. They don't know the material. So sometimes when they ask a question, I don't really understand what you're asking. And I might answer that question way over here when someone says, oh, yeah, no, here's what the answer is. They can answer those questions sometimes better than I can because they understand your question better because they had the same question. And I can answer the question much in much more depth that, no, that's not what I mean. And I can go for hours on an answer. No, no, I just need to know this one little answer. A student can do that better than me. That's why the discussion board can be more appropriate, more valuable for initial questions. Now, sometimes people will say the wrong things. And if there's, if there's conflict, controversy, that's when you bring it to me. During the chat rooms, during the Zoom sessions, bring it to me. And then I can answer that. So, the idea here then is the workflow requires to be on top of things and start early. Start early, early in the week. Don't wait till Sunday night to, do, to, to submit your answers. Do it early so you can ask questions. And don't start emailing me at, it's due Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. Don't start e emailing me on Sunday night at 11.50. How do I do this? How do I do this? How do I do this? I've given you, let's come down here. Let me show you. Uh, the homework is due September 6th. I've already posted it. Okay. Uh, so here we have three weeks to do this work. Okay, usually you'll have two weeks to do the work. I'll have a lecture on Monday, lecture on Wednesday, Zoom on Friday. There'll be six different exposures to ask me questions about this material before you submit it on Sunday. Uh, don't wait until Sunday night to do it or Saturday to do it because I've been available six different times. Start early. Start early. Start Monday working this stuff. Start Monday working this stuff. Okay? And Wednesday, I'll talk about the homework. And then the videos will be there. And then Friday is a Zoom. So I want to strongly encourage you to start early, use the resources, and use me as the chat room and the Zoom. But use your colleagues, your, your fellow students, on the discussion board to talk it out and come to a question, well-formed question to ask me, and I'll answer it very, I can probably answer it much better that way. Okay, good. Uh, that's communication. <clears throat> Students are expected to communicate through questions and answers and not through email. I will answer questions about the material through discussions in Canvas and not through emails or Canvas messaging. Only use email and Canvas messaging for personal communications. Good point, Stephanie. Uh, uh, no, I would not. Let me put it this way. Uh, I do not plan to do a Zoom meeting other than Friday night. Here's a good time. A good question. A good point. Here, here's a point. Uh, I don't plan to do that. And I won't plan to do that, but if some of these plans need to be modified somehow, if this Zoom session, if 90%, if, if everyone but one or two students, you know, another night would be better, or maybe Saturday morning would be better, or I'm already Zooming Saturday in the morning, uh, but if some other time is better, we can try to work that out where I can maybe have another Zoom. 
I, I don't mind having uh, more zooms. <clears throat> but what what I'm trying not to do is have so many zooms that people get confused. I have other courses. I'm already zooming a lot. Uh, I don't mind zooming more. Uh, but let's make sure, let's be careful <laughs> in our decisions to make sure that's going to going to capture as many people as possible okay like Friday night may not be good for this particular these students this student group in this course in these courses uh, there may be another time that may be better maybe Friday morning or maybe uh, um, uh, so I'm already zooming Wednesday Thursday and Friday nights and Saturday mornings maybe some other time would be good and that's fine I'll, I'll switch and change I want to make sure I can capture as many people as possible. And a good way, a good way to do that is that um, <clears throat> is use a discussion board, discussion canvas, and talk about when's the best time to zoom. And if it, as it can, as, as a if everyone says this is better, then I can try it and see if it works. Okay, Kyle, I was confused. I watched your other video before I realized I was supposed to do. Banner 3000. Ah, oh, yes. That's why at the beginning, uh, notice you're saying my other video, my uh, stat 2010. I think that's what you mean, Kyle. Uh, yeah. If you notice, let me bring this down here. Notice the Banner 3000. <laughs> that's this course. Uh, I am streaming. I have, I'll be online 12 different times during the week. Okay, don't be confused. That's why I'm combining these courses, because it is the same. Uh, so look at the Banner 3000 on the live streams. Okay, and also the Banner... So the best way to do that, Kyle, and everybody else, yes, but thank you for chatting that, Kyle, because some other people probably did the same thing. And I thought of that. Okay, and that's why, uh, that's exactly why on Canvas, let me bring Canvas back up. That's why on Canvas, I have the live stream right here and the times. See the 2, 2, live stream, 7, link. That's why I do this so that you can at that time Click that live stream and you will come to the right one. <laughs> okay. Now, if you go, if you click this, it's going to go to my uh, YouTube channel. Okay. You can see how many live streams I've had. Okay. Which one is yours? We can find the date. You can find da 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 da. -da. Okay. I already have seven. I want to have three. I want to have four. I'm going to have four today. Yours is the third one. So, so you're right, Kyle everybody uh, in the class so be careful okay good okay uh, let's go back let's go back to uh, good questions good questions okay uh, keep them coming keep them coming I tell you guys I love the chat room I love the questions if I don't answer it right ask me again because we, because these questions is how you learn how to do this stuff, okay. And in the stream, I have access to a lot of things in the stream, okay, uh, and I have more versatility. And then I have a video afterward. Uh, I, f I found it much more powerful uh, than Zoom. Zoom's going to be great for conversation. This is good for 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 uh, for learning. Okay. Uh, let's con continue on. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. The homeworks are due before 11:59 p.m. in Canvas. For each homework assignment, I say this again: download the Word file with the multiple choice questions from Canvas. Work the problems to get all your multiple choice answers. Only when you have all the answers, only then submit all your multiple, cho multiple choice answers at one time through a link in Canvas. No late assignments are accepted. Okay, and. Uh, I mentioned that before, uh, bringing up Canvas again. 
I guess I want to say this over and over again. Uh, so here's homework for homework first assignment. This will be due. This will be due September sixth. You have three weeks to do this, and you'll probably ace this one. <laughs> you have so much time, uh, and I'll be talking about it six different times. Uh, but then download it, get your answers, and only then do you open this homework assignment to submit your ABCDEs. Okay. And then on Monday morning, I post the answers. And that's why the submission is so strict. You can only do it one time. Once you open it, you have 60 minutes to submit your 10, 10 letters. Homework, uh, question 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, through 1 through 10. And then you're done. Okay. And that's all there is to it. Uh, but I'm very strict at the 11.59 p.m. I'm very, very strict at this Sunday, 11.59. Uh, if it's 12.01, I don't accept it. I gotta have a cutoff, because then that 12:01, 12:10, 12:30, one o'clock, five. So that's the cutoff. You have plenty of time. You're gonna have a minimum of two weeks to get this stuff done. But this week and this week and then Sunday. Okay, um, let's go on. Oh, the exams. Here we go. Uh, mobile choice exams are on Canvas. Uh, an exam study guide will be provided. A live stream about the study guide will be given. Will be rendered as a video on YouTube channel with a link in Canvas that can be reviewed anytime. More detail will be announced later. And since it is going to be, it's a live stream, it's going to be recorded, but you can ask, ask questions again. You can ask questions on the study guide. Now what the study guide is, is I cover the homework. I mean, I cover the exam. I say, uh, here are the types of questions I'm answer I'm asking. Uh, here's the area. Now you can it, you can you can have your red book in front of you. So you have all your red book here. Where to find all these answers? Uh, and um, I'll tell you what types of questions they are. Where to find the answers to get prepared for the exam. In some cases, I'll tell you exactly what the question is going to be. The question is going to be this. I'll just change the numbers around because it's going to be quantitative. And so you know exactly how to do this stuff. And I'll show you how to do it. I'll have all kinds of, of help. Uh, but this study guide will, will be rendered as a video, and you can watch it over and over again, and to prepare before that, that exam. Okay? And down here, if you can see down here, uh, the exam is over the six course topics, 30 multiple choice questions, 90 minutes. You'll have 90 minutes for 30 questions. Three minutes per question, that's more than enough time. People usually take, out of 90 minutes, they'll take maybe 10, 15 minutes that really are really prepared. 10, 15 minutes, you're done. You know, you really know how to do this stuff then. Okay, uh, so that's what that, that study guide is about, uh, to prepare you to take the course. Now, the reason I do it this way, I want people to do well, but, Taking an exam is not so much about your knowledge. It's about understanding the question, understanding where the answer is, and then how to convey that question appropriately and correctly uh, on the exam. It's, it's, it's reporting the answer. So you may know the material really well, but you don't understand the question well, you don't understand the answer as well, you don't convey it correctly. So it's not about knowledge. It's about the skill of an interpreting a question, finding the answer, communicating it properly. Okay, uh, understanding the answers. So this study guide is to, is to prepare you, to show you how to get prepared to take an exam. Exam is not about, it's very little, it's, it's about the knowledge, but it's more about the skill of taking an exam. And that's what that study guide is about. Okay? Now the project reports, I'll talk a lot more about the project reports later in uh, when we get closer to it. Uh, but these, you know, but people make a mistake with these reports with a misconception because it's a project. Uh, they always say, what do you want me to do? And it says, well, here's what I want you to do on these projects. First of all, they're individual. You do this yourself. Two, it's about this course. 
Three, it's beyond the course. Don't redo a lecture, something more than what we've done. But what people have trouble with, number four, is something of interest to you. Oh, okay, well, what do you want me to do? Something you're interested in that's beyond the course. Like what? Well, I have a bunch on the website. I have a lot of suggestions down below. And we'll talk about those a lot more toward the end of the course. Okay. I want you, uh, by the time we get through operations, you'll be learning a lot. You'll know more than you think you know. You go, I'll be talking about applying this a lot in industry. You go, that is interesting. I'd like to know more about that. And I give you resources to learn more about that. Okay. And that's what these individual project reports are all about. Is just going further with this material. Okay? And everybody can do it. Everybody should do it. Everything you learn in school, everything you learn at a university especially, is just the beginning of learning beyond that. Okay? Now, this last, this, and we'll talk more about that when we get closer to it. Now, this last statement, I think, is extremely important, okay, uh, very important. And so the workflow is a responsibility of each student. And each student is expected to utilize available resource, course resources, at their discretion. Simple sentence. That, to me, that's extremely profound. The workflow is the responsibility of each student because each student learns differently. And it's up to you to decide what's right for you. I give you a lot of resources. You, it's up to you to decide how to use those resources. What's the best way for you to use those resources? Some people need to talk it out. Some people need to be alone. Some people be alone, then they talk it out. Some people, everyone's different. The most important thing you're going to learn at a university is not the material. The most important thing you learn at a university is you learn how to learn. And that's a problem I have with high school. It's you learn how to memorize. You don't do that in life. You don't do that in business. You don't do that when you leave school. The most important thing you can learn in a university is learn how to learn. And I'll always be encouraging you to say, think. Learn this and think about what it means. Think about how it can be used. Now, we we'll talk about a lot in this course. But learn how to learn because when you leave here, you're going to be learning and no one's going to be there telling you what to do. So learn how to learn. That's what this is about. But. Uh, and that's what the projects are about, too. Learn how to learn more. Okay, but each student is expected to complete and submit assignments according to the course requirements. You do have goals, deliverables, strict goals that have to be met. We all have the same goals. The homework has to be met on time. No late assignments. The exam and the projects have to be met on time. No late assignments. So you have strict requirements that have to be met. But the way you get there is going to be individual. Each person learns the best way that they get there. You can help each other out. But don't copy someone. You can copy if it works for you. But find what works for you. Okay, I can go on and on about this, uh, about how to learn. We are here to learn. And learn how to learn. I'll be giving you a lot of resources and be talking about it quite a bit. Okay, let's go on. Then I have a schedule. Here's the schedule. And notice uh, Monday, Wednesday streams. As I said, Monday is the presentation. Wednesday is the application. Focus on the homework. But notice for every homework assignment, there's, there's two weeks. And so you'll have this homework assignment for like two weeks here. And the first, the Monday of every week, I'll be talking about a presentation of part of the material. The Wednesday is the homework that apply to that material. So you have the Red Book, which we'll talk about in a minute, the Red Book. You'll have the videos, you'll have the live streams, you'll have the Zoom, you'll have all kinds of stuff. Okay, you'll have a lot of resources that you can tap into. 
learn what works for you. Okay, and then down here, here's the exam and the, and the individual project reports. But notice, they're due at the end of the course, December 12th. So I will open these things up on November 30th. You have two weeks to do both of these things, but, oh, well, actually, the review. I'll open these up on November 16th. The review will be there to prepare, okay? So you can, you have one, two, three weeks, well, one, two, four weeks to do this report. You can even start on the report earlier, okay? Uh, but you have plenty of time to do the exam and do the reports. Uh, both of these are due at the end of the course, but December 12th is the end. So, as I said before, start early. Start early on the homework, start early on reviewing for the exams, and start early on the projects. Highly recommend that. Okay, then we have the grading. Uh, the grading is based solely on the percentage of the performance on the measure below. Uh, it's not subjective, it's all performance measurements on how many points you earn out of the total possible, it gives a percentage, and that percentage over here corresponds to letter grade. And notice I do not give plus minuses. A, B, C's, D's. I don't give plus minuses. Uh, there's a ten there's a range of ten percentage points, but that's a pretty large range, especially if you start early, you understand the material, you might miss a question here and there. But if you understand it, you work it multiple times, you work with uh, other students on the discussion board, usually people do quite well. Okay. Uh, the people that get D's and F's, a lot of times, uh, they don't do the work at all. They don't submit anything. You get a zero. Well, those zeros add up pretty quickly. Okay. Well, each homework assignment is one letter grade. The project is one letter grade. Okay. They add up quickly. So, uh, keep up and submit things when they're due. Uh, that's the key. Okay. Uh, and then here's a here's a, uh, a brief summary of the structure of the course. Now the rest of this, uh, here I talk about uh, the Red Book, the course material, the Red Book. I have the Red Book here. Uh, it, it, this, here's the Red Book. This Red Book is not a textbook. It's a Red Book. Uh, and I think I want to define, define Red Book because it doesn't really describe this material. It's like a summary. This is what, like, like uh, let's look at one here. This is LP. Here we go. Let's look, let's look at a, uh, uh, here's a good one. This is a good one. Uh, putting it all together. Now, notice there's no real text here. I'm not really describing how to do this. That's what the videos are for. That's what the live streams are for. That's what the, the Zooms are for. That's what the lectures are for. So I explain it, and if you learn it and you know it, this is all you need to refresh your memory. This makes perfect sense. As a matter of fact, the Red Book came about years ago before I started teaching. I left school. I started working. Uh, I worked for the government, and I thought, Oh man, I'm using this stuff. So I kept pulling it out, pulling it out, pulling it out, pulling out textbooks, you know, boom, 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 boom. Oh, let me find it in here. Let me find it in here. Okay, do I really have to read all this stuff? Yeah, I guess I do, you know. And I thought, you know, it would be nice if I had on one page how to do that chapter. And I started doing this years ago when I, when I was working. And then I went in industry, and it was even more valuable because it was really time dependent in industry. Timing, they'll, they'll give you something at 5 o'clock, it's due in 5, 5, 530. Uh, so this stuff becomes really valuable in industry. In government research, you have a little bit more time. But the point is, I started doing this, and then when I came into academia, I go, you know, these people, this is a professional school. You're not learning this just to know it. You're learning it to do it. And when you leave here, you're going to be doing this. And so this red book is what you use to do it. And that's how I've designed it. But then I realized, oh, well, this can also be used to take exams. Because if you know the material, this is what you need to know to apply that material on an exam. So this is, this is 
this is a red book. A red book is red, important, on what you need to know to actually be a professional. Either taking an exam, taking a certification exam, taking a, a school exam, taking a final, or taking an exam in business to where your boss wants you to do, your company wants you to do something, you want to do something, and you want it done. It shows you how to do it. Okay, So that's what the Red Book is for. Uh, this is the only material you can bring in on the exam. Okay, Now I'm not going to monitor you. You can't have other material there if you want, but usually it's not helpful. It's distracting. If you understand the Red Book, and by the way, you can take notes in here. You can write and take notes in here. Nothing wrong with that. This is your resource for exams and for industry and for being being a professional, being a productive professional. Uh, so this is what you bring in on exams. Okay, that's a red book. Now, I have uh, Heiser and Render as a textbook. This is okay. Kyle, does a red book help with their homework? Absolutely. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, not absolutely. As a matter of fact, looking at the uh, what I just showed you, this the uh, decomposition of time series. Okay, this page right here. This decomposition of time series. There's a video. On, there's two or three videos on this. Uh, this is the uh, what is this? This is blocking. You can do you can do blocking. You can do you can do filtering. Different ways of, of for forecasting with these kinds of problems. Uh, there's a homework problem specifically like this, and on Wednesday during that week, I'll say, pull up this Excel spreadsheet, work this problem now. You can take the homework problem, put it in here, and solve it. You have to modify it a little bit to get it in here, but this is exactly this is exactly uh, uh, the template you would use. So that's what the red book is for. You can actually generate the template. Or download it from from my website. Now the red book is is uh, notice the red book is um, the red book is available only at the bookstore. Uh, busy, uh, busy. Uh, the red book only at the only at the bookstore, and that's all. Okay. Uh, although they told me that if you order it, I think they can mail it to you. I don't know if they can or not. Talk to them about that. Call them and and talk to the order department. Uh, if if you're not in town, you may be someplace else, you know. But anyway, uh, the Red Book is available just at the uh, Raria Bookstore. Okay. Stephanie, a friend who gave me your Red Book from a class she took from you in 2017. Is this an updated version or can I use it? Okay. Um, hey, Kyle. Hey, thank you. Thanks, Kyle. Uh, it was mailed to you. From, excellent. There you go. They told me that. People tell me a lot of things. Who knows if it's true? Hey, Kyle, it's true. There you go. <clears throat> no, it's not. It's not that expensive. And that's another reason I do it. Do you have any idea how much this sucker costs? <clears throat> a lot less than this. <laughs> and this is all you need when you leave here. And actually... With the videos, with the live streams, okay, now now I'm I'm preaching a little bit. With a live, actually, I'm like a salesman. With the live streams and the videos and and the uh, and this, once you know it, this is all you need. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> but different resources. Again, each person has to find their own way. Uh, let's see what am I doing here? Oh, 2017. Uh, this is. Oh. 2017. This is 2016 edition. I'm working on a 2020 edition. It's the same edition, uh, Stephanie, as 2017. Yeah, it's the same material. Okay, and what I put in here is pretty much standard. I'd say timeless. It doesn't change. I put in here basics, fundamentals. Uh, these textbooks, I have Heiser. I have Heiser and Render someplace else. These textbooks here. They have new additions because they're not they're not fundamental. The fundamentals, but then also they applied it to different things, and those case studies change. 
okay I don't do that I say let's talk about case studies today okay this is this would be the foundation for a case study in 2020 2010 2000 1990 or 2050 because this material doesn't change that much the applications change but the material doesn't change okay I'm still using stuff I learned back in the 70s and I'm just applying it differently okay we will learn okay all these questions you you're getting me you get me all riled up here guys we're gonna learn things that was introduced in the 1700s and 1800s by mathematicians in, in Europe and in France and Italy we'll be learning things that are centuries old but the applications are very different today than they were back then okay okay Mason you're absolutely right Mason uh, Stephanie you're right it's the same it's the very same it's what I'm using and notice what I have here is the 2016 edition I'm working on the 2020 edition next year it's going to be different I I'm putting a it's going to be a little bit more more information in there uh, not not any more operations information I'm putting other things in there other topics so this is for operations management I'm putting other topics in the 2020 edition you may want to buy the 2020 edition <laughs> I'm putting I'm putting project management supply chain management statistics and all kinds of stuff in there uh, data analytics uh, predictive analytics modeling that kind of stuff okay because way back when the reason I got my job my first job because I have I have a, a broad background I have multiple degrees okay and then the textbook Heiser render uh, is a textbook now again everyone's different some people will get this textbook and read it and that's how that really helps them learn to read the different case studies that they have which is great uh, that's fine uh, and then maybe the red book will help them then uh, but the point is uh, this is a textbook for readings and down here I have the readings here uh, and like FF is in following uh, you know IBID means in addition uh, so there's some Latin in there um, um, that's the textbook uh, and then canvas is required because there's where you have all of our uh, grades and the course grade is posted only through the registrar not on canvas uh, but I do it the next day or the next two days and you'll have it the very next week the website is required and the YouTube channel is required and all the links in canvas okay now then uh, policies and procedures I've already talked about this uh, like the course structure I've already talked about this uh, I put it in writing so you can read it <laughs> okay collaboration I've already talked about collaboration I put it in writing so you can read it you know we have the chat room we have zoom we have the discussion board in canvas if you have to use uh, there there's there's collaboration uh, and I I strongly encourage collaboration because you should never do any things in it you should never do things in a vacuum you can learn but then connect uh, because the best way to learn things is to connect with people and see their views uh, and see their approaches their thinking sometimes they're right sometimes they're wrong you'll see in the homework I have a device called Roger and Roger comes up and he'll say oh I understand that la, 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 la. he'll say four things three things are right one thing is wrong which one is the wrong thing because I wouldn't do that in, in a, my mathematics course but I would in a business course because I guarantee you in business you're going to get people saying the wrong thing all the time and they think they're right okay and so always always ask questions always question everything and the way you get good at that is collaboration work with people okay because then you get different views it's not just your view and you can understand your view better when you understand other people's views communication I've already talked about this I put it here so you can read it 
Uh, but here's my email if you need to email me on a personal matter. Homework, I've already talked about this. Uh, I put it here so you can read it. Exams, I put it here so you can read it again. Uh, projects, I'll do the projects a lot more in detail toward the end of the course. I strongly encourage you to read this uh, because there's some very interesting options. I won't cover them now. I'll cover it later. Uh, and then general policies. Uh, nothing will be considered after the end of the course. Boom. And I think at the end of the course up here, let's full screen this, is page two here. It's um, December 12th, Saturday, December 12th, 11.59 p.m. These two have to be due on or before then. December 12th, the course is over. Uh, if you don't have anything, I don't consider it. It's done. It is done. And I will um, then get, then I start putting the course grades together and post the course grades on Canvas. Okay. Now I come back to the you know, last page again. Um, <clears throat> and then the submission of the assignments, everything is through Canvas. Uh, you know, another thing too. I didn't mention this before in my other courses, but I'll mention it later. Submit homework assignments and individual project reports through Canvas on or before the due date and time. A homework assignment or individual report not received when due, either through Canvas or by email with an on-time date and time stamp, has a grade of zero. I actually put this in here now because submit them through Canvas. Don't submit them by email. Don't attach them to... Uh, uh, the notifications in Canvas. Uh, don't attach them on a chat room or whatever. Don't do that. Submit them through Canvas the way they're supposed to be submitted. However, <laughs> if you have a problem, you can't do that. Uh, something crazy happened and oh no, I got to get this in. If it's time stamped, date and time stamped, like you email it to me, don't do it. But if you do, and that's the only place I see it, I'll accept it. You know, I'm not going to give you a zero because I get it. I got it. And it's on time. But I will not accept it if it's after the due date and time. Uh, some people have emailed it. Some people will uh, 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 post it, uh, oh, as, as a comment uh, in Canvas. They say, uh, Dr. Harper, I, you know, because you can make comments in Canvas uh, on the submit it, but then it doesn't let me submit it. I can't submit it. I made a mistake. Oh, no. Here it is. And then you do a, do a attachment, attach the files, and I see it. If it's date, if it's time stamped on or before, then I'll accept it. But after that, I won't. Okay. So uh, no late assignments accepted. So... Uh, I guess the way to say this, and this way you do this in mathematics too, you have hard constraints, soft constraints, that's goal programming. We'll talk about that in here. You'll have hard requirements and soft requirements. The hard requirement, which will not, I will not violate it, is no late assignments accepted. A soft requirement is submit all your assignments through Canvas. That's soft. Because if I get it, not through Canvas, but if it's date and it's on time and it's not late, then the Canvas is soft. The no late assignments is hard. That, actually, that's not a bad way because that's the language, that's language in, in a lot of other technical areas as well. Okay, grades. Uh, grades uh, on homework assignments, info projects, exams we posted during the course. Uh, I've already talked about this. Academic dishonesty. If, ac if academic dishonesty occurs on an assignment or exam, the work will receive a grade of zero. Any incident of academic dishonesty will be reported to Inter Internal Affairs Committee of the Business School at UCD for further action. And that further action could be a suspension or expulsion. And uh, I've been here long enough that people have tried to do things that undermine education. Acad academic dishonesty is not why we're here. It's not why you're here. It's not why I'm here. It's not why you should be here. 
We're here to learn. That's not learning. Uh, so, so I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty tough on that. If I discover something that's not right, I will report it. Okay. Um, so, collaborate. That's not that's not dishonesty. You collaborate. But dishonesty means you're submitting someone else's work as your work. Now, you can believe them. You can learn from them and say, now I know it. This is what I believe. This is my work. I stand behind it. On your homework, on your exam, no collaboration on exam. Or you can collaborate even with a project, but you write your own project. You submit your own project. So that's what I mean by academic dishonesty. Don't take someone's work and submit it as your own. That's not a good thing. So therefore, don't let it, don't let people see your projects because that's collaborate. That's that's dishonest. Okay. And now the conduct here. Uh, there's three links here. It doesn't it, uh, it applies differently online than, than than it does on campus. The first is the code of conduct of the university, uh, and this and this is on campus, and this has to do and also online too. Uh, as far as uh, the conduct, as far as intimidation, or, or verbal uh, accusations, or uh, aggression, uh, it can be verbally online. Uh, don't do it. Okay, uh, we are here to create an environment that's conducive to learning, and it has to be open. People can be free to express their opinions or their feelings, uh, but don't do in such a way that you impinge on someone else's uh, feelings or not feelings, but other other persons. Uh, you don't you don't aggress on someone. Uh, we're, to, we're inclusive. Everyone, let's let everyone learn. Uh, create an environment that that's that's uh, free of intimidation. Uh, and then, if you do have some imminent threat, this beta team is an imminent threat. Something is oh getting ready to happen. They'll come in and disengage, come in and and uh, intervention. Uh, but then. The care team is not the same as an intervention team or a threat. It says there's some there's some things that are going wrong, some some environmental things or things are saying people are saying things that could go wrong, and the care team is just so, is a helpful team. It's coming to help. It's saying, well, do you need help? What's going on? And and actually, this I don't have it here. This could be in the areas of of. Uh, uh, you're depressed. Uh, it's really tough being quarantined or online or on, uh, on, and sometimes people need help. Uh, if you need help, it's not weakness. It's everyone needs help from time to time. Everybody needs help from time. I don't care who you are. I don't care how strong you are. Everybody needs help from time to time. If you need help, get help, uh, and they'll help you through things. Okay, that's why they're there. Okay, uh, our commitment expectation. Actually, you know, high school teaches you to memorize, and university should teach you to think and learn how to learn. Uh, unfortunately, our society, uh, I think, does a do do. Our society does a great disservice for mental health. They see it as a weakness. It's not necessarily a weakness. As a matter of fact, in some cases, it can be a strength. And some, some, uh, what would be considered, okay, I, I shouldn't be talking about this. Uh, but some people are beautiful people that can give you so much more than you would ever believe in. And so, so if you need help, get help. Uh, anyway, let's go on. I, I shouldn't have gone in that direction. I, you, can, you can tell I have a lot of <laughs> definite opinion about a lot of things. Okay, faculty policies state that uh, courses in the business school should require of their students workload that enhances quality education and is consistent with the amount of academic credit of course. This course requires work submitted on a regular basis. Again, keep up. Pilots on ads drops and incomplete grades. I do not appro approve ads. I do not approve drops after the end of the course. Some people say, oh, I got a bad grade. I'm going to drop the course. No. And I do not give incomplete. If you take the course, then take the grade. Now, notice what I say after the course is done. If you want to drop the course at the very end, before the end, that's fine. Uh, you feel you feel like you want to drop it, but not after you've taken the not after you've done the whole course. 
You can't take the course and not like your grade, drop it and take it again. I won't do that. So once you've taken the once you've taken everything, then then I won't drop I won't sign a drop ad. Put it that way. Okay. You can withdraw from the campus, from the school, but I won't sign a drop plan. Now the last statement. Uh, policies in this syllabus apply to every student. Although I may consider special circumstances during the course, standards will never be compromised and all work must be done during the semester uh, according to the syllabus. Any action taken by me that may be considered to vary from these policies is not a, a cause to eliminate or alter any student's responsibility to adhere to all the requirements of the course or to prevent my action in enforcing the policies in the course to every student. Here's what this means. Uh, first of all, policies apply to every student, to each student equally. In other words, I don't change the rules for different people for different circumstances. However, I do recognize special circumstances from time to time. But standards will never be compromised. You have to do the work, and you have to do the work on time, and all work must be done done during the semester and submit it on time. So the due dates are strict, the, the hard constraints are very strict. I don't I don't budge on those. But within those requirements, if you have special circumstances, I'll help you as much as I can within those constraints. Like uh, all different things have happened over the years and I'll where I can help you I will. Uh, but I will not change the rules. Okay. Now, if I do this last sentence here, all that means is if I do something special for someone, that doesn't mean that's policy for everyone. That's just a special circumstance. Okay. And that doesn't mean I'm not doing I'm not doing what I'm doing because you didn't do that for me. But I would, but that doesn't mean all of a sudden you do, you're not you don't you're not required to do what you're supposed to be doing. In other words, you have to do things according uh, to the syllabus, to the standards, the hard, the hard constraints. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, I'm using Excel in here, and as you'll see next week, especially on Wednesdays, I will go through Excel. Um, if you don't really know Excel or not familiar with Excel, uh, you probably will be by the end, by the time you're done with this course. Enough to to work simple problems, and I'll have add-ins in Excel too. Uh, and that's the only other thing that, that I would uh, mention that I don't have explicitly in, in uh, explicitly in this uh, syllabus like we're using Excel. Uh, oh, let's see here. I did have one thing I didn't mention. I had it in here somewhere. Material in the this right here. Material in the prerequisite courses are required before taking this course. Uh, prerequisite material will not be covered in this course, since students are expected to know the prerequisite material before coming into this course. What I mean by that is we'll be using math, we'll be using statistics, we'll be using all different things. Okay, uh, I'm not going to go back and say I don't remember regression. Could you redo that? I said no, I won't. Not in the course but I will help you outside the course if you need help. Okay, statistics is a requirement, accounting is a requirement, so there are there are prerequisites for this course. The prerequisites are up here. Uh, 2010, which is statistics, 2200, uh, this is required. Okay, they're prerequisites. And when I think of a prerequisite, it's not just I had the course, it's you know the material in that course. Okay, so uh, I won't go back and redo it. Uh, that's what I mean by that. But that doesn't mean it won't help you. Like, oh, I've taken it a year ago to remember, 10 years ago to remember. Here, I'll help you. Okay. For this course. Okay. That's all I have for the syllabus. Uh, and on uh, Wednesday, uh, I'll go ahead and have a live stream and I'll have a Zoom on Friday. Uh, it's the same material. Uh, I might uh, uh, have, you can look at the material and everything. Uh, and so you notice, uh, bringing the syllabus back up, um, 
this week, <laughs> uh, I I will go ahead and have uh, the two live streams in the Zoom. Mainly, and notice there is no homework assignment due, mainly because to get people used to the flow, to get used to look at the live streams. A lot of people have. There's a lot of people uh, concurrently are viewing. That's good. Uh, maybe more people can. If you can, uh, and uh, the Zoom, this kind of thing. Uh, and also, you can be talking on the discussion board on if you want to have an, uh, a different Zoom someplace else or an, ad an additional Zoom, or maybe a Zoom periodically or something like that. I don't know. Uh, I'm flexible because I want you to learn. The whole reason we're here is learning. And so let's make this as 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 feasible as possible. Learn as much as you can. And I'll help as much as I can. Okay? Well, that's all I have for today. Uh, thank you for, for uh, all your questions. Again, uh, I love the questions. They're very good. And uh, bring them on Wednesday. We'll probably uh, answer more questions. Uh, I'm not going to get into the material until next week, though. I won't, ask, I won't talk about the homework until next week when we start the homework. Uh, and uh, but I will talk about the course on how this course is managed and organized and policies and procedures and etc. Okay, so they get used to the the flow and the process and the resources where to find everything. So I have for today. We'll see you uh, see you on Wednesday at noon, and then also see you on Friday at 7 p.m. Zoom, and then next week we'll start the material. So this first week is just getting 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 started. Hey, thanks for all your comments, your questions. We'll see you on Wednesday. That's all I have.